here's how to balance a chemical equation. So the first thing I'm going to do to balance this equation is look at what the individual elements are. We can see that we have carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Now what I'm going to do is look for the most complex thing, which in this case is the propane, and just put a 1 as the coefficient in front of it. Doing this, we can now count how many carbons are on the left side, which in this case are 3. The goal for balancing a chemical equation is for there to be the same number of elements on each side. So when looking at the right, we're going to try and figure out what numbers we need to put in front of the compounds to get the same number of carbons. In this case, it's going to be a 3 in front of this CO2. So now I have 3 carbons on the left and 3 carbons on the right, so the carbon is balanced. Perfect. Looking on the left, I see that the total number of hydrogens is 8. Now on the right side, in order for there to be 8 hydrogens, I need to put a 4 in front of this water. In the final step, we're going to look at how to balance the oxygen. Looking at the left here, we have no number in front of the oxygen. But looking at the right, we have 6 oxygens from the CO2 and 4 oxygens from the water. So that gives us a total of 10 oxygens. And the only way for there to be 10 oxygens on the left is to put a 5 in front of here, which will give us 10. So now the oxygens are balanced, and thus the chemical equation is balanced. Nice!